Ever thought about the boundaries of the universe? Well, there aren't any. That's right, the universe is not stationary, it's constantly expanding. Picture this. It's not just that galaxies are moving away from each other, but space itself is stretching. A bit difficult to wrap your head around, isn't it? This mind-boggling discovery was made by the astronomer Edwin Hubble in the Roaring Twenties. Before Hubble's revelation, we believed our Milky Way was the entire universe. Hubble, however, showed us that the universe was much larger than our galaxy and was getting bigger every second. This discovery was nothing short of revolutionary. It fundamentally changed our understanding of the cosmos, reshaping our perspective from a static universe to an ever-expanding one. So next time you look up at the stars, remember they're moving away from us as the universe keeps on expanding. Let's travel back in time, just after the Big Bang. Picture a universe filled with hot, dense energy particles, all in a state of rapid expansion. Now, fast forward to about 380,000 years later. The universe has cooled down enough for light to travel freely for the first time, resulting in a faint glow that permeates the entire cosmos. This is the cosmic microwave background radiation. Like the afterglow of a grand fireworks display, it's a remnant of the universe's early stages, a cosmic echo of the Big Bang. It provides us with a snapshot of the universe when it was just a baby, and it's remarkably uniform, with tiny fluctuations that became the seeds of galaxies and clusters of galaxies we see today. This faint cosmic glow is more than just a pretty picture. It's a powerful piece of evidence supporting the Big Bang Theory, and to astronomers it's like gazing at the universe's baby picture, taken 380,000 years after its birth. Black holes, the universe's ultimate trap, aren't as black as you might think. These cosmic phenomena, famed for their intense gravitational pull, aren't just silent, dark devourers. Instead, they're surprisingly radiant. Black holes can emit radiation, which we can detect as X-rays. This is due to the intense gravitational field near a black hole, which can cause particles to emit radiation as they spiral inward. But the surprises don't stop there. Some black holes can even emit jets of energetic particles flung out at nearly the speed of light. These jets, often stretching thousands of light years into space, are one of the most spectacular phenomena in the cosmos. So it turns out, Black holes aren't just black voids. They're dynamic, radiant, and full of energy, challenging our common perception of these mysterious cosmic entities. So black holes, the universe's most mysterious objects, are not just black, they're also incredibly radiant. Are we alone in the universe? The Drake equation might have an answer. Conceived by astrophysicist Frank Drake, not as a means to quantify alien life, but as a way to stimulate scientific dialogue at the first scientific meeting on the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, the equation multiplies several variables to estimate the number of advanced civilizations likely to exist in the Milky Way galaxy. These variables consider factors such as the rate of star formation, the fraction of those stars with planetary systems, and the number of planets that could potentially support life. It also factors in the fraction of life that could evolve into intelligent beings and the lifespan of such civilizations. The Drake equation, though speculative, has had a profound impact on the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, or SETI. It gives us a way to examine these variables scientifically. While the Drake equation doesn't give us a definitive answer, it certainly fuels our curiosity about extraterrestrial life. From black holes to neutron stars, the universe never ceases to amaze. Let's delve into the world of neutron stars, the incredibly dense remnants of supernova explosions. Imagine, if you will, a star so dense that just a teaspoon of its material would weigh billions upon billions of tons. That's right, billions. It's like cramming a mountain into a coffee cup. And it doesn't stop there. Neutron stars boast magnetic fields a trillion times stronger than Earth's. That's trillion with a T. They're so strong that they can strip information from your credit card from a distance that's halfway to the moon. These stars are compact powerhouses, spinning at dizzying speeds and radiating energy across the cosmos. Their extreme conditions test the laws of physics, pushing our understanding to the limit. Neutron stars, the universe's compact powerhouses, are truly mind-boggling. The universe holds many mysteries, and dark matter is one of the most enigmatic. It's a substance we can't see, 
touch or detect directly. Yet it's believed to make up about 27% of the universe's mass energy content. That's right, more than a quarter of the universe is made up of something we can't even observe directly. So, how do we know it's there? Well, it's all down to the power of gravity. You see, galaxies are spinning so fast that they should fly apart if the only thing holding them together was visible matter. But they don't. This suggests there's something else at work, something we can't see, providing the extra gravitational pull needed to keep these galaxies intact. This unseen force, my friends, is what we call dark matter. What it is exactly, we don't know. But its gravitational effects are undeniable. Dark matter, invisible yet omnipresent, continues to baffle scientists. Let's venture beyond the known solar system to the distant Oort cloud. A vast spherical region of icy bodies, the Oort cloud is a frontier of sorts, marking the outermost boundary of our solar system. It's like an enormous shell, enveloping the planets and everything else we're familiar with, stretching almost halfway to the nearest star. The Oort cloud plays a crucial role as the birthplace of long-period comets. These icy voyagers embark on epic journeys, some taking thousands of years to complete a single orbit. When their orbits bring them close to the sun, they light up as the magnificent comets we occasionally see in our night sky. Despite its significance, the Oort cloud remains largely uncharted, a testament to its immense distance and the challenges of space exploration. It's a tantalizing mystery, a celestial frontier that teases us with questions about our solar system's origins and the vastness of space. The Oort cloud, our cosmic backyard, awaits further exploration. The universe is teeming with planets, many of which could be just like home. Imagine a cosmos filled with worlds, each potentially hosting its own unique form of life. That's the thrilling reality we find ourselves in today. Thanks to leaps in technology, we've discovered thousands of exoplanets, planets that orbit stars outside our solar system. These distant worlds range from gas giants larger than Jupiter to rocky planets smaller than Earth. And among them, we've identified a special category termed Goldilocks planets. These are not too hot, not too cold, but just right for liquid water to exist. A key ingredient for life as we know it. We're not just looking for other planets. We're looking for signs of life. The hunt is on for biosignatures, chemical indicators of life, in the atmospheres of these exoplanets. So, as we gaze upon the night sky, remember, with thousands of exoplanets out there, we might not be alone after all. Let's turn our gaze to the brightest objects in the universe, the quasars. These celestial marvels shine with a brilliance that outshines entire galaxies, powered by supermassive black holes at their centers. But how does a black hole, something known for consuming light, create such luminosity? The answer lies in the accretion disks surrounding these black holes. As matter spirals into the black hole, it heats up, creating intense radiation before it crosses the point of no return, the event horizon. Quasars aren't just fascinating because of their brilliance, they play a crucial role in our understanding of the cosmos. Despite their immense distance from Earth, their intense radiation makes them visible across vast cosmic distances. This visibility makes quasars akin to cosmic beacons, guiding astronomers in their study of the early universe. They provide a glimpse into the past, to a time when the universe was much younger. Quasars, the cosmic lighthouses, illuminate our understanding of the universe's early days. In the beginning, there was a big bang, followed by a rapid expansion called cosmic inflation. This isn't just a catchy line, but the very blueprint of our universe. Imagine something smaller than an atom, suddenly ballooning to a size larger than a galaxy, and all of this happening in less than a trillionth of a trillionth of a second. That's cosmic inflation for you. In the immediate aftermath of the Big Bang, the universe was a hot, dense soup of particles. Then, in an instant, it underwent a period of exponential growth, ironing out all the initial irregularities and creating a smooth, uniform cosmos. Cosmic inflation is like the universe's initial growth spurt, a rapid expansion that set the stage for the formation of galaxies, stars, and yes, even us. 
It's a mind-boggling concept that's integral to our understanding of the universe's earliest moments. Cosmic inflation, the universe's initial growth spurt, set the stage for everything we see today. And there you have it, folks! Ten mind-blowing facts about space that'll leave you in awe of the vastness and complexity of the cosmos. We've taken a journey through the expanding universe, seen the faint glow of cosmic microwave background radiation, and discovered that black holes aren't always black. We've pondered the Drake Equation's insights on extraterrestrial life and marveled at the extreme nature of neutron stars. We've delved into the mysteries of dark matter, ventured to the Oort cloud at the edge of our solar system, and realized that exoplanets are everywhere. We've been dazzled by the brilliance of quasars and explored the concept of cosmic inflation following the Big Bang. Each of these facts opens up new realms of understanding and shows us just how much more there is to learn. If you enjoyed this journey through the cosmos, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and share with others who might enjoy a cosmic journey of their own.